Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Hazard. New video, Super Bowl 49. Talking about what happened last night. Yeah, we'll see you right now. Peace. Is in the back. Yo, what is going on? Once again, Super Bowl 49. As you all know it, Seahawks fucking choked. I'm, um, I think I've seen it in my videos. Sorry, I'm seeing a lot of ums lately. Um, I am from Seattle. I am a 12th man fan. And I'm just really disappointed on what happened. And we'll go play by play. And here we are with some background. Actually, on Madden 15 on Xbox One. Of me playing the Super Bowl versus the Patriots. And I'm sorry for the spoiler alert. But I fucking win because that's how it's supposed to happen. But we'll say, I mean, we'll talk about what fucking happened down there in just a moment. And yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Enjoy the video. And yeah, let's get straight into the fucking shit. <sighs> Alright guys, let's get straight into it with fucking obviously doing the coin toss, Seahawks win it and decide to kick it off, which is a smart play because we then we get the ball obviously in second half, which is really good. And as you said, see there I touch down my curse because I'm a beast. But anyway, um Seahawks win the coin toss, kick it off to Tom Brady's bitch ass. Obviously Tom Brady's going down the field for a very long drive. I'm actually thinking that they're gonna score on this whole drive. And all of a sudden, I'm just remembering, I actually have my notes here of what happened, and I figured out where the fuck I put it, so I'm kind of a dumbass. But I'm guessing it was like the 10-yard line, second string cornerback, Jeremy Lane, coming in as the Super Bowl hero in the first drive of Tom Brady's series, that um, first drive, like I said, getting an interception, that at the end of the play, I think it said he, um, it's either he broke his arm, but I think he broke his wrist because um, I don't know really what happened down there. He got tackled pretty hard, I guess. But yeah, guys, we got saved. Next up, um, we're going down, we're going down, and it's our ball. Russell Wilson, time to shine on beast mode. We do. And we're going down, we're going down. And we get stopped by Patriots. And so it's a forced punt. I mean, not forced, but we have to fucking punt it down. First thing to score. I think I said it already, fuck, um, but Patriots score first, then we score, and then nothing really interesting happens that much, we're in the second quarter, and then all of a sudden, actually, what happened, what happened, during those plays, actually, we got a really good player who we never use, I think he's like a fourth string or fifth string wide receiver, and he should have been MVP if we won the fucking Super Bowl, but I don't know, you guys tell me. And really, that guy's fucking name is Chris Matthews, number thirteen wide receiver. Like I said, fifth string, I think. Um, he's never he's this game was actually his first reception and first touchdown, but um, not just one reception. He got a few receptions, but each one was such a good play. And because of him, he got a first touchdown. And I don't know if he's no, he scored the second touchdown, which I'll be talking about in just a second. But he got a few. Good catches, but each one was over like 20 yards. I think only the last reception he got because he was covered by Brandon Brown at the end. And he's pretty tall too, like him. And he only got like an 8-yard reception. It was still pretty good for him. And he just shined really good that game. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of Chris Matthews. I'm proud for my whole team. I can't wait to see him next year if we still keep him. Hopefully, I think we do because I'm not sure. Obviously, we do, I think. But, um, yeah, that happened. And we scored a touchdown, you know, we're kicking it. Nothing, like I said, interesting happens. You know, um, we're just stopping them. Our Legion of Boom was actually injured yesterday. That's why we could have done better. Our Legion of Boom wasn't fucking um, working properly. Obviously, we had a few injured people. We had Sherman still injured a little bit. We still had Earl Thomas a little bit who didn't shine. Sherman got no picks because he, he was only targeted once, I think. And um, after Jeremy Lane was out. They put number 27, 13 cornerback Simon, which I'm sorry, but uh, he's fucking garbage to me. I don't know why. Um, because of him, they scored at least two touchdowns, I think. They're scared of Sherman. And I think that's really happened. And finally, they put Byron Max at the end, but that didn't really matter. But anyway, skipping on second quarter about 30 seconds ago. Patriots at the 15-yard line. Throws it to Rob Gronkowski. Rob Gronkowski actually never did anything the whole game. But, um... I mean, he did, you know, and um, what happened, he didn't really play anything that much, I guess, that whole fucking, what is it, that fucking quarter, 
and then all of a sudden, 30 seconds to go, second half, I mean, um, first half, almost done with the second quarter, boom, passing the Gronkowski, doing the Gronkowski spike, and, you know, now it's 14-7, and we're just thinking, like, we got, like, uh, 20-something seconds to, you know, get a, a touchdown, and once again, Chris Matthews shines, we get a catch with him, I, I'm, I'm thinking right now, and then something else, and then Pete Carroll, as he, um, in the highlights, he was talking to him, he's like, saying, I want you to, I want you to get this touchdown for us, and it's like, a few seconds, and then, Russell Wilson, as usual, one of the best quarterbacks, I think, passes it to Chris Matthews for a touchdown, with only two seconds left on the clock, Kyle got with the extra kick point, and now it's 14-14, time in the second half, as we could get back to them, and they only had two seconds, so they couldn't do shit. And then halftime, we'll be talking about Katy's per- Katy Perry's poor performance that was shit. And yeah, <sighs> Super Bowl Forty Nine. All right, moving on. I said fourteen fourteen. Yes, we did coming in clutch. As Seahawks always gets the last touchdown at the last seconds. But anyway. It's on the halftime. Everybody's been waiting for Katy Perry. And for me, I'm I'm going to be honest. I fucking hate Katy Perry. Some people say she's hot. Some people say she's ugly. And I just hate her singing when she does like a real life concert or something. Like, I guess it's alright when it's on the radio. Because obviously it's fucking auto-tuned a little bit and all that. But when she's in real life, when there's no fucking auto-tune. That shit pisses me off. Because what I hear is a bunch of garbage singing. And at first, it was pretty cool. She was singing her song, Roar, I'm thinking right now. And it was fucking... It was pretty dope, I guess, at first. Because she had some big-ass motherfucking line. Just walking on the whole stage. Everybody was screaming. I mean, obviously, they were screaming. But screaming, blah, blah, blah. And then a few songs came on. And then her special guest, who was it? Some motherfucker with a guitar. Who was... He's actually pretty dope. I liked him. But then some fucking bitch came out of fucking nowhere. Guess who it was? Actually, to be honest, I don't know who the fuck the bitch was now. I can't remember. But she started singing this fucking stupid song with Katy Perry, which pissed me off. I don't know why. Just overall, I'm gonna grade Katy Perry's performance. Uh, F minus? I'm just joking. That's not even a fucking real grade. But, um, we're gonna go with, um, that was a pretty bad show. That's all I'm gonna say. And I hated it. And then obviously, last commercial before the fucking shit starts again. Third quarter. Um, I think his name is also Steven, right? Steven Galskowski, like Steven Hauschka. Kicks it off. Baldwin just gets a touchback. And, um, you know, starting out good. And I think... Oh, shit, I don't remember right now. My mind's correct. Um, 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 um. What happened? What happened? I got a break. Now can you catch... Ca- Oh yeah, see what happened is that we went downfield, I think, on that play, and then obviously um, they stopped us, but we were close enough for our bows, the heart of the Seahawks, our heart, and so I'm joking, Steven Hauschka coming in with a fucking field goal, and we score, now we're up in the lead, um, leading 17-14, to 14, right, and yeah, we're leading, we're leading, I'm, I'm pretty happy, I'm like, yes! If we won the Super Bowl, we're going to be one of those teams that went two Super Bowls in a row. And the last time somebody did it, guess what? It was the fucking Patriots ten, with Tom Brady 10 years ago in 2003 to 2004. And I didn't want them to win. And so, and then obviously back to Brady's bitch ass. And, you know, Brady's looking pretty cool. Because what his good thing is that he kept on passing it so fast to um, Julian Edelman. And I'm not gonna lie, I'll give Julian Edelman some like um tips. I mean not tips, fucking like good points. He did really good. He broke. He would always break the first tackle. He was really strong in that game. You know, I mean, he usually is. But anyway, and mm, I think they made it halfway across the field. I really don't know. Obviously, captain of defense, as you all know it, it's your boy Bobby Wagner, number fifty four, middle linebacker. And also do a fumble. I've been trying to do that play for so long. I can never really do it. It's kind of hard for me. But anyway, Bobby Wagner intercepts the ball. And it looked really good for Seattle now. And obviously, 
intercepted. It's on like at the forty nine yard line in their in their territory, and um, we get the ball back. Russell Wilson doing some beast mode runs, passes, and I think um I don't know who caught this touch. I think it was Baldwin. Everybody saying it was a cheap touchdown because of fucking um the ref. That douchebag right there was in front of Darrell Revis while Baldwin went to the right and fucking caught it. Which I think I don't care. They're just sons of bitches who can't take a touchdown seriously. And but after the touchdown, um, I don't know if Brit um, Baldwin did. I was paying attention. He got a flag for, you know, um, what is it called? I don't know something for because he was doing some stupid celebration when he was just like adjusting his pants. But that's not the point. Seahawks lead ten. Like, 10 points. I'm like, third quarter, we're probably going to win this fucking Super Bowl. And, you know, we're looking pretty good. Tom Brady get his ball again. And then, I think nothing happened really in the fourth quarter, if I'm correct. I mean, third quarter after that. I'm actually, I can't remember right now. But. Take the football. After the long. But all of a fucking sudden, in this fourth quarter. And this is when the shit starts going down hard, mother fucking core, mother fucking house. Anyway, Tom Brady gets the ball, touchdown to Julian Edelman. I'll give him that. Then we get the ball and we fuck up. We have to punt it back. Blah 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 blah. Now they're only we're only up by a field goal. It's twenty four to twenty one, right? And all of a fucking sudden, Legion of Boom. Chokes. I'm sorry. I don't want to say that because Seattle is my favorite team no matter what happens. Chokes. And I think the last touchdown was by Amendola. And then it's like two minutes again, like an NFC championship, I'm, I'm thinking. It's before two-minute warning. And Russell Wilson, first play, I'm, I think, um, or a few plays later. They're at the 50-yard line, I'm, get, I'm, I'm remembering, I think. It's um, a vertical play, I think. And Curse is going down the field. Only 10 yards away from the touchdown when he caught it. But this was an amazing catch. It's not some fucking pussy-ass jump catch. I mean, that's a good catch if somebody does it, obviously, in the verticals. Because it's kind of hard. But this is NFL history catch. Fucking down. Zach Hike Russell Wilson takes his beautiful arm. Launches it in the air. One of the best quarterbacks, like I said again. Curse catches it, it bounces in his shit, and he catches it. We're only 10 yards away. Lynch goes for the run. Now we're at the one yard line, and this is where, once again, the shit goes down. And I'm really disappointed on what happened. And, yeah. One yard away with Lynch. The stupid ass offensive coordinator decides to throw it. We get picked, and game over. There was a fight, which is actually hella funny. I'm disappointed, but we always got next season. Always be a 12 fan. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. It's been real. It's been your boy Hazard. Once again, I'm out. Till next time, peace. Enjoy your day. The trophy is headed to the yeah.